our video, I'm going to be looking at this computer and we're going to be, we're going to be opening it up and changing the DC plug. The customer broke it. So I have already taken the screws off, but basically there's some underneath this um, plastic that you see here. Uh, so there's four. And then these screws that are uh, on the back cover. Now for the battery, you see that the unlock icon on it is facing that way. I can see it. And then all I have to do is push this and the battery will come out. Now there's two screws right here that I took um, out. And definitely you're going to need a plastic uh, card. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be using this one, of course. I don't really use it that much, so do this at your own risk. Uh, we're not responsible for anything that um, happens if you break it, but definitely using a plastic is better than using a piece of metal. Um, so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run uh, the a card uh, close right here in the front. Let's see. We actually, you know what? The only way to do this is if we take the card and actually use it around the edges here, slide it through. Once you have that, you might want to put a guitar thing on it and that'll hold that side up and kind of Pass it through you know, around the edges. You're using this so it doesn't scratch, you know, the customer's laptop. Once you have that corner, try to do the other corner. Actually, we're going to be using this card. So you guys don't see my... Uh, information so basically I'm gonna hold that side and, and just pass it along here now the hardest part is once you have this already out you have to be really careful because you could break the edges so what I what we're gonna do is we're gonna just move it along a little bit with and you can see that the bottom has you can take it out now if we flip it around um, you can see that it comes right off this is a CD-ROM keep it here and so what we're looking for is the Sorry about that. We're looking for is the um, the DC plug that connects uh, power. So uh, for this one, it's actually hidden like right beneath the hinge. If you can see, see it kind of under there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking it, you know, this this part off the hinge, and then we'll have to take this part off so that we we can take the screen apart. Uh, before you do this, make sure you ground yourself. I don't have an anti-static wrap, uh, but I'm using a ground. And let's see where it is. So since if you don't have a ground, I don't have a, um, I don't have a rug. So that kind of produces, that kind of produces static electricity if you do have a rug. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the end of of this uh, charger here. As you can see, there's a light on it. Um, in the meantime, you know, until my anti-static wrap comes in the mail. So I'm going to touch this every second just to unground myself. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to proceed with taking the screen off. Make sure that when you do take the screen off or any screws, you have something 
organized to put each screw in. So that way when you put that back, you're not missing a screw. Like most mechanics that take apart a um take apart an engine and they're missing screws. But so what I'm doing right now is I'm looking at what I'm gonna be be taking out first. So the screen is what we chose. I'm gonna be using a Phillips screwdriver. And to, if you want to speed this video up, uh, look in the description. There's going to be minutes in there that you can actually speed through um, certain areas of this video so you don't have to listen to me. It'll jump right in. But um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be recording every single video that we do every time a customer brings anything in. So that way you guys can um, see all the problems that that – People um, go through every day, and most of this stuff is repetitive. Um, uh, let's see. So I'll take this one out. That's the one on the side of the hinge that I'm taking apart right now. And I'm going to make sure my screws are in order. Um, so there's three screws in each hinge. Uh, with this video also, you can actually learn how to replace a hinge. Most of the laptops that are that have broken hinges um, are due to where the screw actually sits. The little um, gold piece there breaks, and then you have a problem. You have to order like the back screen to it. I'm having a little issue taking this screw out, so I believe by a little bit of pressure. And so you can skip also um, down to the description. So when I do take the screen off, uh, the title will be in there. That way you don't have to sit through this and watch me battle with this screw right here that's not coming out. I'm thinking that maybe it might be stripped. Yeah, exactly. So. What happens is every time people open this, open and close the um, the laptop, it kind of looses up the the washer that holds the hinge, and then it ends up it ends up breaking. Now, what happens is when we do certain repairs like this. It could accidentally, you know, break because once you open something up, there's always a risk. There's always a probability that something could go wrong. So it's like if some, if you are, um, if it's going to happen in your house, it's going to happen here. So most likely um, we can put this back to place. If not, I'll let the customer know that. Just be careful with the hinge because it could break easily. All right. All right, so. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna attempt to take the screen off now. I'm gonna follow this cable. I'm not sure if you can see it. But there's a cable that goes from the LCD to the motherboard. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to lift up the um, the ground. I'm going to lift up the LCD display cable. And the Wi-Fi is actually sitting right on top of it. So I'm just going to take the Wi-Fi card off just to make sure that I uninstall it correctly. I'll just take the Wi-Fi card off and I'll remember that it's right on the edge where the antenna goes. If you put it in the wrong one, it might give you weak signal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one off. Let's see, and the screen.
So I'm going to slide it out. So that's the cable that goes from the LCD to the motherboard. Um, all right. It's this is kind of strange. So the, the the VGA the cable to the video is actually going um has to go around the fan and over things. All right, there we go. So that's that's the wire that goes from the LCD, as I repeated it a million times. But anyways, um, now that I have taken the screws out of the LCD, I can simply lift up. All right, so there we go. So I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit and the other one that way when I take it off. Um, oh, we're missing one more screw. So this fan is actually All right, so what's going on now? I'm gonna have to take out the fan because um we're gonna have to take it out so that we can take the hinge off because there seems to be things on it now. While I took the fan out, I see that there's a lot of uh, dust. You see, like, right near the heat sink where it actually breathes. So that needs a little bit of cleaning. I'm going to let the customer know that this needs to be cleaned because what happens is during time, if this clogs up, you're going to have an overheating computer, and it's going to get worse. It's going to slow down. Eventually, the motherboard will die out. But uh, once we clean all this up, it'll run smoother. So as we opened it up, we saw that. I'll let the customer know if he wants me to. I, I mean, I had to take it out anyway. So but usually these repairs are not that expensive. But it's better to clean it now than later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to still investigate what's going on here. I'm going to. I'm gonna lift up the hinge a little bit. Wow, this is very, all right, all right, good. So I lifted it up. I don't have to take the screen off because this came right off. So the DC plug is actually a board. Uh, oh no, wait, wait a minute. That's not a board. It's actually this piece right here. And I believe we have it in stock. Actually, we don't have this one in stock. This is actually a, a different one than what we have. Um, so I took this off and this is what needs to be replaced. So this one's broken and we'll have to replace it. And I'll, I'll show you guys once we um, put it back. But eventually it's pretty simple. Just take it out and when you do have the new part, all you have to do is put it back in and just install it the same way you took it out. So in conclusion, this definitely, this motherboard definitely needs a clean. Probably need to take the, um, the CPU heatsink off and clean up all the, um, all the um, CPU paste that's probably dry. And just put, I'm going to repaste it. I'm going to make a video just on replacing the thermal paste. Uh, specifically, Intel has uh, concluded that all you need is a grain 
of rice, thermal paste, right in the middle of the CPU. And once you put the heat sink down, it'll actually spread out in a circle. I want to put the link to the description on that video. It's just a short 30 second video on how to um, install thermal paste. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, subscribe. We're going to be um, growing this channel, hopefully, with the help of you guys. And I'll be getting, hopefully, some micro soldering videos in here that we're going to start doing. So uh, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys learned something.